Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a Wednesday morning here and we're gonna go around the farm and look at another little update. Uh, this morning we are standing here in front of the feed mill. Yesterday, in the middle of making feed, our mixer made a really loud bang noise. So just for fun, I'm gonna turn it on real quick. So you heard that, that's a lot more noise than it's supposed to be making. Uh, my guess is that uh, weld broke on the inside of this thing. So this morning we're gonna take this down and uh, see if we can get that fixed. This was all the contents for this batch of feed right there. Uh, James spent yesterday getting the pit and everything all cleaned out. Uh, this right here is all feed that's good to go. We're uh, got a lot of chickens right now, so we're going through a lot of feed. So this is uh, number one priority this morning to get this thing back and running. So uh, we'll let you know how that goes. Uh, so over here, um, we are loading up chickens. If you remember, uh, we just gotten chicks, I think maybe on the last video. So these guys are right around two weeks old now. So uh, they're going to a couple different farms uh, where we will be raising them. So we're getting them loaded up. It's We like to do this first thing in the morning when it's nice and chilly still, if you can say chilly in Haiti, but not quite as hot. So uh, there they go. So these posts right here are all for our community center fence. So we uh, welded a bunch of old scrap metal to the bottom of these so it'll sit better in the cement. And then today we will take those over there and start setting them. So we're pretty excited to start being able to build that fence over there. These past few weeks we've been fighting with the Bobcat. We've had this really annoying hydraulic leak uh, right down in there somewhere. Uh, it's on a, not a hose, but actually like a little solid piece of piping. Um, the flare end started pitting out and coming loose. So anyways, we got that fixed again. And hopefully this time at last, I'll probably order a original part so we can get it going because we use this thing all the time. And uh, it's expensive when it, you know. Hey, so here we are in the fridge room. Check out these mangoes, guys. Mango season is upon us. Uh, to, this morning, we're gonna start bringing in some ladies and processing all these mangoes. So uh, we're super excited about that. We'll make different things. We'll probably do some dehydrated mango slices uh, with some of the mango apis. And then some of the other ones will turn into more of a mango puree. But come on in here and check out the freezer. Look at this, guys. It is empty. Uh, we've got some wings right here. We've got a few quarters. Stocked up on livers. And what is that, about 12 whole chickens? So all these shelves are empty. Uh, ooh, it's a nice, nice balmy 18 degrees in here. There's not many places in Haiti you get to go where it's 18 degrees. Uh, so we are butchering next Monday. So let's go out and check out the chickens we're gonna butcher next. This is some corn seed I got. We're gonna go weigh it real quick. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay, we're gonna go weigh it real quick and uh, it's gonna go over to another farm where they're gonna hopefully get it planted in the next day or two. So more corn's always good for us. Here goes Ezerak, he's gonna go uh, butcher a pig this morning. So we set out the field, a little four wheeler, butcher his pig and bring it back on the trailer. Well, I know I said we'd head back and take a look at the chickens, but here's the brooder house. Uh, it's coming along really nicely. Yesterday we were able to work on the electrical. We got light bulbs up, Ciao. And uh, got our plumbing lines ran along here for all their drinkers. Um, we're gonna got the boards up to put the plywood onto, so it's coming along. Um, but we got pulled off this project today to fix the feed mill, so we'll get back to it hopefully tomorrow. One more thing on the uh, on the brooder house here is here's the, our outside oven. So this is gonna be the the burning area in here. Then the chimney will come out of right here. Then this will be a hot area where we can capture the hot air and then pipe it over to the brooder house. So yeah, it's a work in progress. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna sure try. So I bought this little bull uh, this week, along with a, a little cow as well. Um, I banded him right away, so hopefully he'll grow up to be nice and big. Now these two cows I bought, I didn't really need, but they uh, a, a kid came to me and he was selling them to go 
to college. So he had uh, been working and had these two cows and uh, he graduated high school this past year and now he's gonna head over to the Dominican Republic where he can study computer networking. And so uh, I was able to cash out his savings account, as you might say, uh, because a lot of times around here, livestock are like a family savings account. So uh, he's, he's off to college and we've got two more bovine in our herd. Good morning, chickens. So these guys got some growing to do. Uh, they're not quite as big as I would like them to be, but hopefully we'll have some in some of these houses that will be ready for butchering in about five or six days. Because uh, like, like I showed you earlier, our freezer is empty and we need some chickens. So these guys are gonna be pushing seven weeks pretty soon. Next week, they'll be right around seven weeks, which is definitely on the shorter end. But if I can even find a good 100 chickens out of these 1,200, uh, some of the biggest ones. A lot of times the roosters are a little bit greedier and grow a little bit faster, um, which we'll be able to find. Then we'll butcher those, some of those for next week's orders. Otherwise we'll have to be canceling orders, which we don't want to do. So here is the corn field. You guys might remember we planted this corn uh, a couple weeks ago. What do you think, Kendricks? Where's the corn at? Do you find some corn? Which one? Show me a corn. So this is a local variety of the corn. Last time we planted a hybrid that we had imported. Uh, so we're kind of doing a little comparison to see if this one will grow better or worse and, and what our yield is at the end of it. So uh, it's good to see it growing and looking good. I know, I know there's a lot of weeds in here. Uh, next week we'll start uh, hoeing it, so. So now I'm out here in the soybean field. Uh, this is like that area that's about a little less than an acre and we're uh, doing some trials with soybeans. So. As you can see, they're, they're popping up. Now, what's kind of interesting is overheat this area, we pretty much all planted by hand. And in this area, you can kind of see a couple lines there. That's where we planted the tractor. And then our, just our seed density was way too much. That's why we stopped planting the tractor. They're coming up. Those ones are coming up really good. They're probably about two days older before we got going with planting by hand but seem to be doing really well so we'll see what happens here pretty excited about it uh, we definitely like to be able to harvest a lot of our own soybeans now we're over here in the tomato garden uh, we got a whole pile of tomatoes growing on here uh, looks like you can start seeing some of these tomatoes coming on the vine uh, we'll be making a lot of spaghetti sauce and different tomato products hopefully some salsas uh, with all these tomatoes so and then if you look over there a little bit further, that's a whole bunch of sweet peppers. So we're, uh, we got some of those growing as well. This is our little nursery where we've got all kinds of different avocado, cashew, and mango trees growing. So as soon as we get that fence up over at the community center, we're gonna be taking a lot of these trees and planting them along the perimeter. So that will be a lot of fun to see those guys. These little trees right here are one of the things I'm most excited about. These are all papaya trees. So it looks like they're getting pretty big. I think probably this week or next, we're gonna take those and transplant them, probably along like the perimeter of the cornfield. I've been eating a lot of papayas, and so I'm really excited to be producing some of our own. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude this week's little walk around tour. As you can see, Peep's already working behind me. I gotta get over here to help him so we can get this uh, mixer fixed. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. We hope to do one again in about two weeks. Uh, please make sure you subscribe and like the video if you did, uh, or leave a comment. We'd love to hear your feedback and I'll let you know what you like to see. So that way next time I can make sure to get that in the video for sure. Take care, have a great week, bye.